Oh, snippity snap. The DOA is getting its paint on today. Hey y'all, Donnie D, DOA Chatez. Coming back to you. DOA Quick Tip, numeral trace. Teaching you through the technology of video editing. Kind of cheesy, but we're going with it today. The last video we painted the bottom of the boat. Today we're going to tackle the hull above the waterline. I made reference at the end of the last video that this can create lots of anxiety. So true. There are numerous steps involved and any of them can affect the whole outcome of the operation. Not to mention the paint is so finicky that a slight change in humidity can make the whole side of a boat go flat. I don't mean the cool flat look like you're driving in the Fast and the Furious. I'm talking about going flat where everybody at the docks gonna be talking about you saying you didn't know what you were doing. All right, go ahead and turn up the volume. I'm gonna talk over the video and give you a step-by-step -step of what we did. And please remember, if you like this content, comment on it, hit the like button and subscribe. All right, let's get rolling. Our first order of business was to get rid of the old logo. Go at it with a heat gun, pull up slowly. Any residue left over, hit it with some sort of adhesive remover. It is important that you're careful with the heat gun. Try not to stay in one place too long. You can actually bubble up the gel coat if you're not careful. After you get your logo or your stickers off, it was time to start sanding. I went with 150 to start with because I had some orange peel texture left on my hull from the last paint job. Then we switched over to 220, went around the whole boat with 220. Try to get it as smooth as possible. After sanding, I probably should have gone around and put a primer coat on it. I learned a long time ago when painting with red, it requires a lot more coats to cover. And this would prove to be the case in this operation as well. Once you're finished sanding, go around and wash your hull, soap and water, then we rinsed it with the power washer and made sure all paint residue was off. After the boat was clean and dry, we spent an inordinate amount of time taping. When you're painting the hull, taping it up is probably the most important job. If you have any gaps in your tape or you don't get something covered, you'll end up with paint there. And this paint doesn't come off with lacquer thinner. So be careful, spend a little extra time, go back and check over it. Make sure you got everything covered and everything's tight. Prior to painting, you wanna do your final wipe down. We used all prep, but any solvent made for this operation will be fine. What you're trying to do is just get any residual dust off your hull so it doesn't show up in the paint. It's time to start painting and get your mix master out. We used all grip. It's a two part polyurethane. Interesting side note, I had a bunch of leftover paint. Specs say it's good for three years. My paint was 12 years old, some was seven years old. It didn't matter, I mixed it all together. I used spray converter, brush converter. Stuff came out shiny, came out just fine. Don't throw away any old paint. But we did follow directions to a T. Two to one was our mixture. Let it sit for 15 minutes in the pot. Stir it one more time, pour it in the pan, get going. The viscosity of this paint is just a little thicker in water, so wring out your roller really good. One man rolls, the other one comes behind him with tipping. We learned that the brush was pulling the paint, so we switched over to a high density foam roller to tip. The main roller we used was a quarter inch nap candy stripe roller from Worcester. The first man works in about two foot square areas, puts it on for coverage, not too hard, you don't want runs. The second man follows him up with the high density foam roller. His job is just to get all the air bubbles out. What's really cool about these high dollar two part paints is once you get the bubbles out, they'll level right out. It's cool self-leveling paint and unless it goes flat, it'll stay real shiny. We ended up putting four coats on it. Probably could have got away with two coats if I had primed it, but I didn't, so we had to take care of some of those blotches you saw earlier in the video. Last thing I did was have my logo man come back over, put new logos on. She's ready to go. Job well done.